Shalom Body of Christ. Today is September the 24th, I want to say. Yes, September 24th, 2023. With the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I decree and declare Heavenly Father's protection over this communication, over our minds, bodies, spirits, and hearts. In holy Yeshaya's name, Aman. I am coming to you in urgency, in utter urgency. Please take any word spoken saying, Thus saith Father Ahaya to Father Ahaya directly for confirmation. Please test every spirit for the validity of any word spoken in Father's name. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to go through a couple of vital uh, things here. Um, please bear with me because I am doing this in obedience, and some things may not be uh, received well. Uh, because of the potency of Father's message, and I give him all of the glory. Uh, excuse me just one second here. I'm just trying to bring up my other screen. Okay. All right, so I'm starting off with this particular um, video, and I will include all video links in the commentary field uh, so that you can have, so that you can do your research and you can take it to prayer for, again, the validity of it, okay? This is an urgent, urgent, urgent message today. I cannot express it more for you to take this very, very seriously. Father continues to express that many of the body of Christ is asleep. They are not awake. They're too busy being distracted with the world. They are not seeing and discerning the time before us. They are not seeing and discerning the times right now before us in prophecy. Without further ado, this is, again, very urgent. Uh, please pardon me for the firmness of my voice. I cannot begin to stress to you how very potent this message is okay so this brother in christ patrick humphrey i have shared his videos non-stop because everything that he's posting on here is alerting and pointing to the signs that we see right before us pre-world war three okay now the united nations who father has branded Father has branded the United Nations as the honeycomb overseeing world government. Please hear what the Holy Spirit is seeing, saying to the church. All right. So he's put out a video, and it's about the new treaty that the United Nations has put out. Okay. I'm going to go through this here. Give me just a second because I'm going to play a couple of clips. It's very important that I do this in order, the way Father has given me the layout. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this treaty by the honeycomb, thus saith Father Ahaya, the honeycomb, United Nations, is essentially a treaty for world dominance along with the WHO the World Health Organization, that will continue its dominance to try and Fauci-ouchi your children in the system. Okay? All right. Let me bring up this other screen because you need to hear this from local officials. Please hear. Give me just a second here. I'm going to try to play it here. Apologize. Let's see where it is. Okay, let me get to the point here. Please bear with me. Okay. Do you listen to this right here from this press conference? There is something you need to know. They are keeping this away from you. So many people regret. They don't want us to be subordinate to or governed by our Constitution. No, they want America to be subordinate to and governed by the UN, the World Health Assembly, and the WHO. 
And in fact, they intend to join with others at the U.N. summit this week to vote to award additional powers to the U.N. Secretary General. They seek to facilitate the evolution of the U.N. from an international cooperative body to an international governing body. These powers would be triggered by any one of a number of so-called global emergencies, whether it was a so-called climate emergency, a health emergency, a cyber emergency, or a gun violence emergency, whatever that's supposed to be, a financial emergency, or whatever they deem appropriate. And the Biden-Harris administration is in full agreement with the U.N. and the WHO on efforts to place us under their authority and require such things as their international health regulations, including the surveillance of U.S. citizens, the censoring of dissenting of views, and much more. The American people didn't vote for this, and they don't support this, and it's up to the people's representatives, that's us gathered here today, to have a responsibility to expose this and to reject this. The U.S. should defund the WHO again. We should withdraw from the WHO. Any agreements with the WHO or the U.N. should require Senate approval or disapproval. And a bipartisan House majority voted to require Senate approval just last week with Tom Tiffany's bill on the House floor. So I'm proud to be joined here by my House colleagues and others who are appropriately concerned and educated, informed, and leading on this issue. Again, this is the most important issue that's getting the least amount of attention relative to its importance and its impact on our country and on the American people. And with that, I yield to the gentleman from South Carolina, Ralph Norman. Thank you, Congressman Good. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to make this video long, but it is crucial for you to watch that video from beginning to end. Okay, we need to know and be able to discern the times in which we are in because we have been commissioned as watchmen to sound the alarm collectively. We are to sound the alarm from our podiums. This is why you were called to be a spokesperson for the Father. You were called to be ambassadors. This means using your mouthpiece, your trumpet, from your podiums to warn because we do not want any blood on our hands. Okay, now I'm going to move forward. I'm going to touch on United Nations here a little bit more in depth in recent news because it's vital for you again to be able to discern the signs that Father is giving to us ahead of time and that we have been posting and sharing off of our podiums. Okay. All of the glory be to Father Ahaya, but these are crucial for you to receive and take note of. Okay. All right. So in June 2016, Father had me speak a word regarding the United Nations being the honeycomb. Okay. And please forgive me because prophecy is written wrong there. I type, I did a typo. Um, now I will add the original prophecy as well in the commentary. And it's important for you to watch from the beginning till the end to understand the time that we are in the time that we have entered in prophecy right now. Okay. Okay. So before I get ahead of myself, father's reminding me about what's going on in Israel right now. As many of you know, Israel has attacked Lebanon with some kind of nuclear device. Okay. There's been many deaths here in the last couple of days. And the United Nations, the honeycomb, is going to take the stance and say that they're taking this governmental dominance over the world, okay, into their hand. They're taking this world dominance into their hands, and they're going to have this treaty with all these nations come against Israel. We know what that is. If you're following prophecy and you're reading your Bibles, you know the hour in which we're in, okay? Okay, so again, I will add this prophecy from June 2016 where Father brands the United Nations as the honeycomb. All right, now going back to what's just happened over the sign of the autumnal equinox. Father has been giving these, these signs. Father tells us that these, thing, these signs will follow those who believe. Okay? All right. He's giving these signs as a heads up for telling the future and the events coming to fruition and coming in the near future. All right. So 
over the course of September 22nd through September 23rd, the United Nations over the autumnal equinox, they did the um, treaty in order to bring this together. Now, this is the head of the United Nations, the Secretary General, General, excuse me, September 22nd, 2024. And I quote, we have unlocked the door. Hear this with spiritual ears. Now it is our common responsibility to walk through it. That demands not just agreement, not just a treaty, but action. Well, those of you also who are following prophecy and know of the United Nations, you have done your research on the United Nations. Their slogan is peace and security. Please hear that blue hats. Now, let me go back here. Okay, so I'm going just a little bit further down. In 2015-2016, about there, and I will come up with the video that I actually did on this, the announcement. Father Ahaya, at that point in time, instructed the body of Christ to watch The Matrix, I Pet Goat, The Terminator, and The Hunger Game brands. Okay? He told us, he instructed us to watch those because they would foretell the layout of the future. Okay, now please meditate on each of those brands that I've mentioned and apply it to prophecy. Okay, now four days ago, Father Impromptu had me share these things. Okay, four days ago from my podiums. He reminded me of the vision of Miley Cyrus and her video where she's putting the lipstick on the mirror and it's 23. The elites know the entertainment industry knows that is a sign for them okay just before the 23 we're showing the the nine on the on the microphone i i don't know what that's called please forgive me but um you can see the correlation 923 is a sign for them to watch out for we see it in all of these movies mentioned in the movie 23 in, um, oh gosh, I can't remember this gentleman's name on the left-hand side where he portrays Noah. 923 is mentioned on there too. Said something cataclysmic will happen, okay, according to that movie. And again, Miley Cyrus you're seeing here. And then, of course, we see it in The Simpsons, which they're pretty 100% spot on on everything. Um, I do understand that they have remote viewing, and that's um, how come they're able to have all of these so-called um, prophetic uh, things come to pass, right? Okay, in the Hunger Games, we see also here that the United Nations um, logo is included in a lot of scenes. For those who have ears and eyes to see and hear, please hear. You see peacekeepers dressed in white. We will see peacekeepers dressed in blue and in blue caps. And when you see that, that is a sign for you to get it together because they are not peacekeepers. Be very, very cautious with them and do not approach. All right, now we go into the Terminator. That is Skynet. It's mentioned in the Terminator uh, movie. One of the one of the um, the videos of it. I, I want to say it's uh, Terminator 3, if not 4. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, Father gave me this scripture this morning, and I have to share it in obedience and boldly, because many of the body of Christ, again, they're more worried about what people are going to say, and they're not giving up the warnings. They're not speaking from their mouths as trumpets and setting off these warnings to warn his children to prepare. Okay, this is the scripture that Father gave to me this morning to share. I will allow you to read it there. What we see going on with Jerusalem right now, with Israel right now, is a, a prelude 
we know this, a prelude to World War III, a prelude to Israel being surrounded by her, um, surrounded by armies. This message is urgent. This message is urgent for you to discern the times. And most importantly, as a watchman, as an ambassador for Holy Yeshaya, Father Ahaya, we are to speak boldly from our podiums and we are to sound the alarm. Ezekiel chapter 33. I love you all. I pray that you are blessed. And I ask kindly that you do share this video because we are to sound the alarm. Do not care what people will think or say of you. The hour is here. The hour has come. We need to sound the alarm. I give Father Ahaya all of the glory. Amen.